Buenos dias, everyone. Good morning, Pastor Jim Simbola. And we are continuing in our daily devotional series through the book of 2 Corinthians. I just want to put a little blurb in here now. I'm going to mention it on Sunday the 10th, but you're the first to know. On the 11th, next Monday, we are going to be having available on the website three free downloads of a series called the Believer Series. And there's 30 of them that are coming down the chute, three at a time. They're the 30 key subjects, lessons you can't really grow in grace unless you're aware of these truths from God's Word, like you should grow and uh, mature and be used by the Lord. So there's verses that come along with it. There's questions that'll be alongside of it that you can answer uh, if you uh, want to grow and study and apply yourself. Monday the 11th, go to the website, brooklyntabernacle.org, the Believer Series. Download three for free, all for free. So now let's go back now to 2 Corinthians, where Paul is now going to use language uh, and defend himself in a way nowhere else found in the New Testament. Why? Because these fake apostles, super apostles, fake ministers, have wheedled their way into the church at Corinth, where Paul had founded it, and spent 18 months there and love those people, and now they're being boondoggled by some clever characters who are doing it under the guise of we are top-notch ministers of God and Christ. And now, because they've really denigrated Paul and put him down, Paul's going to defend himself, and now he's going to talk about them to the Corinthian church. Verse 12 of chapter 10, we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. So he's saying, we're not like them. I'm not like them. And my team is not like them who commend themselves. They're boasting about themselves. They give self-praise. They don't let God praise them through his blessing on them or let other people give the testimony. They're afraid it might not come. So they're just full of braggadocious comments. I did this. I know that. I've studied here. And they're just, he said, we're not like that. He said, another thing they do, which is not wise, they compare themselves with themselves. They don't come before God and let God give the evaluation. They're saying, no, look, compared to this one, compared to that one. And that's not the way we're to measure our growth or stature in Christ, by comparing ourselves with others. We, however, will not boast beyond proper limits, but will confine our boasting to the sphere of service God himself has assigned to us a sphere that also includes you. So now he's talking about something which he realizes is a weak spot with his opponents who are hurting the church there in Corinth. He said, first of all, I only boast in the Lord, as we're going to see, within the sphere of where he has sent me and what I've done myself through God. I was in Corinth. I started that church. They didn't. They can't boast about the church. They didn't start it. They didn't preach the messages. They didn't go through the birth pains of giving, uh, bringing a church into existence through God. They just run and criticize other people's work. Now, brothers and sisters, there is an industry of that right now, especially through social media. 
We got 7 million people who have the answers to everything. They know what's wrong in every minister. What did they do themselves? Nada. Never built anything. Maybe never even won a soul. But they have been raised up by God to see through everybody. Well, we have to be awake to false doctrine, and we have to try the spirits to be see whether they be of God. But what these characters were doing is they were coming in and criticizing Paul, and Paul says, I, listen, where God has led me, this is what I can boast he's done, where I've been and what I've done. I don't criticize other people's work. I do my own work, and I can show you that work. These guys just come and criticize and tear down what other people have done. The, the emphasis is on the word done, do, achieve in God. Paul's getting now here to brass tacks. When I was in college, and I was at the Naval Academy too, but at Rhode Island, people would have come and they were stars in uh, basketball players in their little towns, and, and, and all of that, and they would say before the season began, hey, hey, uh, you know what? I averaged 24 points a game. Where'd you play? I, I was up in the state of Maine. I, I was right near where the bears are, you know, real bears, the black bears. And how many were in your high school? Oh, you know, like, we're like uh, 180. In your whole high school? Yeah. No, but I, listen, I was shaking and baking. No, I was doing it. So I can't wait for practice to begin and tryouts to begin. And they would just be bragging, bragging, bragging. But then you knew the day would come when they would throw the ball out on the court. And now the question is, who can play? Who can play? And although that sounds like spiritual machismo, Paul is basically saying that, as we're going to hear. God uses me. He's given me a gift of grace. Here's what I can point to. What did you guys do? You just talk and criticize and seduce people into praising you and usually getting their money. So we learn here now not to be full of ourselves and brag about ourselves. Let another person's lips praise you and not your own. If the lasagna is good, let the people who are eating it say, ooh, good lasagna. It's really probably not good to say, this lasagna that I made is the bomb. Let other people praise you. And let's just achieve things in God and leave the evaluation to the Lord. Let's not be people who just critique others. It's, it's enough. Not what did you critique and see through. What did you actually do? What did I do? What did I build? Who did I lead to the Lord? Who, who can, can say, you know what? He was a blessing to me. So that when we die, someone will miss us, someone will appreciate us, rather than just critiquing people who are out there. Let's be like that. Let's build up the kingdom, not tear it down. In Jesus' name, amen.